Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Duckville here, bringing you a ZVT matchup from the Korean server, the Grandmasters level over there. Of course, one of the uh, the best places to be if you are looking for some high level content. Starting up at the top left hand side here as our Red Zerg player, we've seen a little bit of him lately. He did uh, drop me a couple of really interesting replays. Of course, we are speaking of Exile Five Pig. One of the best Australian players and, uh, well, obviously one of the best C players at that as well. He's been uh, competing a little bit in WCS and then has uh, also had a couple of local events that he's been at and now is back up and running over at his stream on twitch.tv slash x5 underscore pig. You can find him over there. He does a lot of coaching and also does quite a lot of ladder streaming as well with some wonderful commentary. He is currently a featured stream of the month over on my Facebook page. So you can uh, certainly, if you want to keep up to date with Pig, go and follow him on his various uh, social media channels such as Twitter and Facebook and those cool things. And you can catch some really good Zerg action. And speaking of uh, great action, down at the bottom right hand side, our Blue Terran player here is of course the STC. He's a player who has been around since, well, basically the, one of the one of the longer term sort of players in the scene. He's not uh, he's not one from uh, only Heart of the Swarm. He's not even one from uh, Wings of Liberty. The STC used to play in Brood War on the uh, STX Soul team all the way back then. If anyone uh, is well versed with that team, of course that team are uh, encountering some issues lately, but um, they're still doing. Not too badly, but uh, yeah, anyway, STC, a really, really good Terran player. Unfortunately, he didn't really rise to what he may have been able to. Unfortunately, his mandatory military service came up in Korea, so he had to had to take that for a while and uh, was out of the scene for quite a bit. That, that still didn't take anything away from him. He's still a really good player, competing in various uh, GSL Code S's, along with quite a few Code A's as well. And not only that, but IPL 3, IPL 5, we got to see him quite a bit. And, of course, the IPL Fight Club for a little while as well. So, he's a player who is um he, he's kind of like a, a, a very akin to some of the other players who, you know their name, you, you definitely know who they are and that they're a top player, but they haven't necessarily won too much. There's, there's a few kinds of players like that who have been uh, roaming around the scene for the longest of times and unfortunately just have never really gotten the chance to shine. But uh, STC, he'll be battling against one of Australia's finest, of course, so we'll see how he goes with that. Pig, uh, he's a very, very solid player in ZVT. He uh, has really, really crisp kinds of uh, builds and these kinds of things. Great identification as well is one thing, uh, I, I suppose, sorry, identification is uh, my own little word for it, but, um, uh, you know, recognizing what your opponent is up to and map awareness at the same time. So being able to say, all right, well, there's there's a Reaper. I've got to be careful of that. I've got to move, you know, a couple of units out of the way. You've got to be prepared to drop down a drone into a spore so that they don't die. So these are the, you know, these kinds of things that, um, you know, you have to be very careful about. And as I say, that pig unfortunately does lose a drone there. But uh, we do see this Reaper. Of course, the Reaper attacks now coming through. One drone is the cost so far. Pig doing an all right job keeping some of those uh, some of those lings alive but as you can see gonna have to be very careful here this drone is actually gonna take a shot on that reaper to stop its regen and now the reaper will need to be very careful one more shot from a queen or a ling and that guy is going down so he's gonna boogie out of there as quickly as he can is gonna start the regen but that is a you know it's a nice little scout he got to see all right there was no early pull there was no uh, there's no early gases on either of these bases or anything like that so I don't have to worry too much about what's going on and therefore, STC, he's simply going to grab a third CC. He's happy to continue on in a macro style here. We can see he's also going to get that standard Hellion opening coming out. One and a two. No, there it is. All right, two. Uh, going to be starting out here. Pig has identified all of this, of course. He's just seen that switch over of the racks and the factory. He should probably, we'll, we'll probably see him uh, send out a couple of these lings in a moment. Once he's got enough queens to adequately defend the uh, the main base and the natural as well from the reapers, then we'll probably see him send a couple of lings across. In fact, no, he's actually going to catch out one of the reapers. It's, it puts a little bit of hurt on that guy there, but uh, the other two lings are going to be forced to back off at the moment. Two queens also coming around to deal with those reapers, but uh, Pig, unfortunately he hasn't been able to confirm that that, uh, that extra CC is there, but you know, you can sort of assume it at this point, it's a very, very standard kind of build that um, Terrans love to do, is to get that quick third command center, boost up their macro from uh, right from the start of the get-go, and you know, you can really put yourself in a good position when it comes to mid-game. So, 
Pig will have to be aware of that. He'll have to uh, adequately switch things about to deal with that kind of play. We can see that there is a tech lab now researching Stim. Second gas now done for the STC. His first few Hellions are now also making their way across the map, burning up a few of these links. But the links do get a pretty decent surround. Unfortunately for Pig there, they didn't get exactly what they were trying to get there. And it looks as if he will get inside the main base. A couple of drones now popping off. Now notice, notice the calm and the, uh, the very careful selection of some of these drones here from Pete. He's not going to box up the whole group and send them away or anything like that. Just take a couple of them, send them across to the Hellion to try and keep them in small packs. If you start stacking them up, like we can see over here, that is when things start to go awry when you're defending against Hellions. So keep in mind that kind of thing when it comes to defending against uh, Hellions that are roaming inside your base. And speaking of which, a couple more are now going to make their way over for the SDC, but he's going to be he's going to back up with that. For now. He knows there's a little bit too much defending here. Pig now up to a total of five queens. Uh, of course, that standard kind of queen count, one for each of the bases, and then two for a little bit of creep spread, and uh, of course, you know, for some uh, base protection as well. But STC, he has now gotten up his double eBays right at the front door. Very interesting to see those uh, so exposed here for our Terran player. You can sort of, oops, that's the wrong one. This one is, uh, you can see just how very, very exposed they are. Normally, you'd see it players put them down the back or, or inside the main base, of course. is a very standard kind of uh, place to put them, but he's put them at the front, not too worried about any kind of uh, big roach bus or bailing bus or anything like that that would damage his tech. Of course, because he's been able to scout out what's going on. He knows there's a third base. He's even put a lot of damage into that as well. And he, of course, has scouted out the natural. We saw quite a bit of the main, is even killing off a couple of workers inside the main now as well. So not too bad for STC. He's going to be very comfortable in this position right now. You'd probably say he's in a really nice spot. He's up to 42 workers. We'll see that worker count climb as we uh, continue on through this game. Plus one to weapons and armor, also researching right now. So he is going to have that little addition added on the armory. Nicely timed out so that this will finish up at, uh, oh, well, just uh, actually just a few moments before the engineering bays are done with their research. But back at home, pig. Wow, this reaper. Balls of steel gets inside the main base and is able to scan out the lair timey there. He knows that it's not done, so it's not some kind of uh, crazy earlier lair or anything like that. A bailing nest on the way from Pig. We do see the two Evo chambers for him also researching melee and carapace. Extra extractors. Extra extractors. That's kind of cool. On the way here at the uh, the third base. So we'll see Pig bringing in a little bit more gas as his work count starts to increase all the way up to 68. And we'll just keep an eye on that particular number, I mean, because that's, um, of course, you got to be careful with the Zerg players. If they stop, if they suddenly stop droning and they suddenly start making some units, there could be something uh, going a little bit, uh, you know, crazy on the map at the moment. But uh, it looks as if he is just simply getting out some defensive units here, some Lings, some Banes. Bane speed is on the way along with that Spire as well. So he's just going to have enough units to be comfortable. He doesn't want to be in a position where suddenly the Terran guy comes out and says, hey, I've got a bajillion Marines and a couple of mines are going to knock down everything here. So you're just going to be careful about those sorts of things. But speaking of which, we do see STC has now set up his third base, a couple of mines helping out with the defense here. We could, we've got Banelings and Lings rolling, well, making their way across the map. I'm not too sure about this. STC stemming forward. He does take out a couple of the Lings, may get a single Bane. Yes, he does. Pig is now forced to escape for the time being. But I think this is a little bit, uh, a little bit of a bad decision there for Pig. Yeah, unfortunately, he does lose quite a lot of those units for basically nothing. STC now with combat shield stem. 1-1 one, one on these Marines is now going to push forward. This is that normal kind of timing when the Terran Terra train starts to ramp up here as we can see lots of Marines now coming out of all of these reacted racks here for STC. He's got mines now coming out. We've got uh, medevacs as well along with an extra set of racks down the back. It will, and with that you add on the fact that he's getting 2-2 two -two in wonderful timing. This Terran player is just right on the ball right now. He is uh, in a really good position moving across the map starting to deny some of this creep and this is the big thing about this map is you often see Pushes coming in this way from the Terran player, just trying to capitalize on it, getting rid of that fourth face. They will move forward. A couple of good splits there from STC. It looks like we'll get a couple of pretty decent Widowmine shots as well, but most of those mainly did survive. 
They will now be brought down by the Marines. Of course, a couple of Widow Mines down the back have still not been set off just yet. But Pig, now in a bit of trouble, has got a, a uh, very interesting looking Marine force knocking on his front door. There, that is really starting to get a little bit out of control here for STC. More and more Marines now making their way up towards the uh, the fourth base there. Macro hatch inside the main for Pig. He's got Muters now coming out, but he does lose that fourth base. And this is what we commonly see on Belchir Vestige is the Terran players will just start to rally towards the fourth and this puts you in a very difficult position as a Zerg player because a lot of the time if you're if you're if the Terran player is rallying to your side of the map you're in you can be in trouble if the Terran is rallying to their side of the map that is where things start to uh, really turn your way as a Zerg player but here we go Pig now rolling through Bane's getting some wonderful shots there taking out huge portions of that army and Pig says I will not surrender just yet. Takes out a lot of the Marines. There are Widomines here. Ouch. Does take a big shot in the face from one of those Widomines there, but uh, STC, he's going to macro back up a bit. Got some Marauders on the way, interestingly. Just going to add them in for an extra little bit of tankiness here, along with more and more Marines. A couple of uh, turrets are going to get set up as well to make sure that he does have some kind of unit defense in the main base. McQueen's now being caught out here. These gals are in quite a lot of trouble. They were trying to get some more creep spread going, but STC has denied that kick. Does have a fourth base on the way, as we can see that fourth is almost done, and that will give him a little bit of extra co economy if he can set it up. He is going to also add in another hatchery on the right-hand side. So I am right. Pig's holding on. He's not necessarily in, in uh, the winning position right now, but he is certainly holding on at this point. He is going to have to deal with a, with a Terran army that is now on 2-2. Two, two. He's got 3-3 three, three on the way. We can see even plus 2 on vehicle armor is on the way now for STC. So he's going to have a lot of really decent upgrades, and this army is going to start to get more and more threatening as time goes on. So Pig, always one with the splitting. Going to come in from two sides here. It looks like he is ready to go. The Marines, the Mines are all right, ready and pumped up. And here we go. Pig coming in from all sides. Widermines are getting a couple of really good hits off. Some of the Marauders were taking up the Bane for Pig with his Muters up in the air and basically taking no damage at all. A few of them are a little bit red, but uh, they are going to heal up quite quickly, of course. And now Pig smashes down another army, clawing his, uh, his way into a decent position here. It's uh, quite impressive that he has been able to slowly rest this one back into his favor. He's currently sitting up at 159 supply. We can see that uh, he does have more and more upgrades on the way. The 2-2 is just now coming through. No sign of the lair yet, but I mean, this is a standard sort of thing that you do see with Zerg there. Very comfortable to sit on lair because this is basically one of the best ways to play against this kind of style. So STC is going to continue to try and push it here on this base. He needs to get this base down if he wants to stay in a comfortable position. One thing that we would like to see from STC is perhaps another command center building, but we will have another big fight here up at the third base. Pick now rolling through a couple of wonderful Widomite hits there from STC. Do give him the edge in that battle. Muters now forced to back off, but they do not have any support on the ground and pig well back to the drawing board for him gonna keep respreading this creep this is one thing which uh, if you're you know a new a new kind of zerg player do keep in mind spreading this creep is very very important but also respreading the, the creep is also just a huge huge advantage that you can take into a game how another big widow mine hit there for pig but uh, he did snipe out one of his opponent's widow mines but as you can see STC wants to uh, perhaps do a little bit of maneuvering around the map with the one medevac that is now heading across. I don't think he's seen this. Okay, it looks like he is going to drop on that base, but I mean, hasn't actually seen it, but he's just assuming that it is there. More and more Marines now coming across. STC does have a fourth base up and running. I completely missed that one, but he's about to drop it down. SCBs have moved across as well. Another big fight over on the left-hand side. You see Marauders at the front tanking up quite a lot of the damage. The Muters have had free reign in the air, though not too many Widowmines are available to knock down some of this army and as we can see pig crushes yet another force from stc i'm a little bit like i don't know how i feel about some of this uh, army splitting up earlier on but uh, now pig is starting to take the game into his hands he's up at 157 supplies hitting on 20 minutes although a few of them do go down in battles with the widowmines and the marines as well now down just the 15 meters but still it's better than nothing at all and with stc setting up his fourth base he will be starting to sort of um get his economy into a nicer position but i mean at this point when you're starting to lose your production facilities inside the main that is when things start to really get troublesome here for a uh, for the terran player but now we can see stc he is going to try and redrop at the third base of pig will he be able to take that down if he can take out that base then maybe 
he can't keep himself in this, but Pink is starting to get back inside the main base. Lings have somehow gotten their way through all of those SCVs. I thought they were holding position. Apparently they weren't. The drone's now dying up at the third base for Pink. He is going to lose quite a lot of that economy there, but he has started to knock down STC with the production facilities now starting to fall down. A Wittemine is going to come through. Will it get a shot off? It looks like it is a no. The Wittemines inside the main base, though, have been getting some really good work done. Mute account has decreased down to just a total of 15. He's, he has 10 more on the way, so that is really going to help out here. And with a, another little link run by over here at the third base of SDC. It looks as if Pig will certainly be able to get some damage done, but that wonderfully placed bunker at the back is just absolutely indestructible when it comes to this kind of thing. And Pig, still continuing to wreak some havoc inside the main base, has been wonderfully successful here in this game. Eventually, bringing things back onto his side. He was in a very, very troublesome spot once that fourth base went down, but he stood firm, defended those extra attacks that came through, got some lucky Widow, uh, some lucky Baneling hits, and then eventually was able to take down the STC. Hope you all enjoyed this game. I'll catch you all next time. Here. As you can see, 47 damage to bio units and then the 34 damage against other standard targets. His storms have also been wonderful, just spreading them out across the battlefield, doing really, really nicely there. And uh, for Minigun, he's been sticking with a very, a much more